once it kicks in. There it goes. All right, so we got our last uh, conference to talk about. Which last is of the commentary on E3, which is the best one in my opinion. The best for last. Yeah, definitely <laughs> best for last. So, uh, so yeah, was, <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of talked about with Sony. Honestly, they showed more than anybody else did, and they yeah. honestly didn't even have to, but they brought out all their guns. Yeah, all of them just out there, guns ablazing, and they shot everyone down <laughs> successfully. <laughs> so, where do you want to start with this? Let's start at the uh, the three ninety nine. <laughs> let's, gonna... let's let's get right to the chase here. Okay, kind of cut right to the chase. <laughs> Three ninety nine. That 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 blindside haymaker that they dealt Microsoft. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't know about you, but I just kind of heard like a faint like. <laughs> every, like every, in the background. Everyone's cheering. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, you see it like. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, not, I'm melting. <laughs> like in the back, like that—that that was Microsoft. That was everyone at Microsoft just slowly having the life force drained out of them <laughs> from that statement. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a it's a console that's stronger in power, better. It has overall. it has yeah. It doesn't have any of the online bullcrap or the Kinect yeah, bullcrap. None can play of the use games. None of the gay porn. None of the mandatory gay porn. None of the mandatory gay porn. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> that Xbox One makes you is, is a feature of Xbox One is mandatory gay porn. So none of the mandatory gay porn of, of Xbox One. And stronger console, more it, games. More exactly better games. More games, better games. In my opinion, anyways. Yeah, and it, well, yeah. I mean, that's that's opinion stuff, but still, my opinion as well. Better games, um, all for four hundred dollars. That's it's that's fifty dollars it, above a Wii U. Pretty much, yeah. Fifty bucks above a Wii U. That's ridiculous. Um, that was like they were already jabbing like Microsoft in the face all night. Then, all night, right before they talked about the price point, they were just yeah. like, "We play used games." Crowd went wild. Not online only. Crowd went wild. Well, well, exactly. It's so funny because that's all of the things that shouldn't even be a question, but because Microsoft has decided to take what we love and know and spit on it, and so you just there to wipe that off. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like it's it, it makes you know you doing the normal stuff popular now because Xbox, decided to go and it's, do crap. This is how I see it. Xbox kicked all the gamers in the nuts and then the PlayStation 4 comes in and you know, reaches down his hand to lift you back up <laughs> 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 with like a holy light behind him and everything. <laughs> just, you know, just, just, just reassuring and slow. And just the and face gentle. of it is just like some handsome dude it's just David, David Hasselhoff. Wow. <laughs> like... <laughs> like PlayStation 4 has pretty much ensured being the king of, of the next gen of this generation of you know the, yeah, the coming generation. Yeah, before it's even started, they've they've just gave themselves just all the chips. Yeah, and it's just like you can't those and like even like because basically you know seeing all their games and you know and the, there's how the system works and all that. They're just jabbing Microsoft in the face. Okay, then we're gonna have to we're gonna have to jump to one of my favorite parts real quick. Then they pulled a sword out of their back pocket and slashed them with it, which was Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3, which we will get to. That to me was not just a jab. That was like pulling a katana out of nowhere and just slicing. How them. how is it okay. pulling a katana out though? Considering because, they're multi platform games. Yeah, anyways. exactly. I'll, I'll, we're, I, we're gonna get to that eventually. But if they were exclusives, I could yeah. understand. And I thought they were. I mean, I, like, I, guess, I guess unless you mean just unless you mean just because they were big, they were big reveals. Yeah, they were very, very big reveals, especially. Be, and I still truly and wholeheartedly believe that the best experience of those games will be on PlayStation Four. But that was just you know blind tight katana slash. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then after that, you know the the triumphant beautiful british man that he is <laughs> okay <laughs> told you the price point and that was just that blindside haymaker that just ensured the fight fight over fight always over he they they killed the opponent <laughs> <laughs> and just, just did the done. fatality 
Yeah, fatality. You know no, the I mean? fatality they... was when they showed Je when they showed uh, Destiny running. Yeah. Just taking, fatality. just taking, you know, Bungie. Even though it's yeah, a multi-platform game, it's Bungie it's... from Microsoft, which yeah, made the Xbox it... popular. Exactly, and just saying, hey, and you know, then just being, hey, and now they're now they're now they're with us. <laughs> exactly, and 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 then. You know, they're like, oh, you got Halo? Oh, that's cool. And just snap their fingers like, <laughs> and then Bungie <laughs> steps out. And it's like a firing squad. And they just, do, 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 do. <laughs> just pump them full of holes. Like, that's what Sony did to Microsoft with their conference. It was, it, it was just, it was brutal. <laughs> it was just brutal. They, they, they wanted to make sure that Microsoft and everyone else knew that Microsoft was dead. <laughs> they wanted to make they, sure that... <laughs> they not only wanted the top Microsoft, they wanted to punish them into the ground. Exactly. They wanted, they wanted to, to make sure they got a burial. Exactly. They wanted to make sure that Microsoft knows that it is Sega. Okay? <laughs> it is not Sony. It is not Nintendo. <laughs> it is Sega. <laughs> okay? It will know its place, and it will die along with the company that they bought out. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, they're, they're, it's, I can't say there will ever be a reason for me to buy an Xbox One, no matter what they put on it, because why would I buy one when I have a PS4? A superior that is console. Four, a, that a is completely superior cheaper. Console. Yes, that is, that is $100 cheaper. I mean. And we're not even being biased here about the superior console. It has it actually, better hardware. Exactly. Fact, it has better hardware. Yes. This isn't just bias of oh we like Sony more. It yeah. just by fact has better hardware. And this yes, doesn't have, fact, this doesn't have to do with like the difference between like their DDR three and GDDR five because people can't really compare those directly because there's two different versions of video memory and they work different ways. You can't compare say GDR five is straight up better. Yeah. I know people were talking about that last week. That was like the big thing in the news is that GDR5 and DDR3 comparisons and it's they they are programmed in different ways to where you can't compare them. Yeah. But it just but, it's still a flat out stronger console regardless exactly. of that. And the fact that it's stronger and better than you, but it's also cheaper than you. What can you do with that? Like, there's, you don't have anything left. Like, people can literally, like, even when I was, because, I mean, if you, if you I mean, <laughs> even regardless of the, the games that, are, that everybody rejoiced for on, um, on, on PS4, it's like, oh, well, the multi-platform, I'm just looking at the multi-platform, so I'm just like, it won't help. <laughs> just regardless of if they're multi-platform. Yeah. But More people are still going to be buying the PlayStation. Dude, Nintendo could sell Mario Brothers to Microsoft right now, and it still would not help. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that's how I feel about it, because they're so buried. Like, there's there's no reason to, for me to play anything Microsoft anymore. I mean, I have my Nintendo Wii U, and that handles my Mario, my Super Smash Brothers, you know, Mega Man, and just everything else that I like uh, from, from them. And then I have... My, then I will have a PS4, which does everything else. <laughs> it's just like, I don't, well, why would I bother? That's, it's, it's cheaper too. And it's just, yeah, it's, I don't know what Microsoft's plans to like, I don't know what their response strategy is. <laughs> like, I don't know what their- <laughs> But they better come up with a damn good one. Yeah, I don't know what their counterattack is, but it, it looks like, I mean, Sony just, Chopped your arms off. Unless so they like, start handing out free Xbox Ones, I don't know exactly. what else they can do. Exactly. Handing out free ones, and then personally, I'm like, yo, I don't want that shit. Yo, get it away from me. <laughs> like, if like, you want a free one? I'm like, nah. Yeah, right. I, I might take it and sell it online. I'm not plugging it in my house. I don't want it to look at me. Exactly. It's like, <laughs> it's like I'm not. I'm not plugging that thing. Just off, one. I don't want you to look at me. Exactly. I don't, I don't want you to see me. So, you know, there's gonna be a statement that comes out. Oh. That's against the pri terms of privacy, and we would never do that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Facebook said that too, and we know where that's going. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's just no reason for me to believe any terms of agreement ever, and I certainly would not believe Microsoft, especially because how much they BS stuff now. Like, how you know how much like things they tell say about their system that they can't actually do, you know, as opposed to Sony 
who, even if they BS something at this point, it's still stronger, better, and cheaper than an Xbox One. So they can tell me whatever they want. That being said, I do think that they should chill a little bit on all the shots fired like at, at, at Microsoft. Um, cause there have been some shots, so, like, <laughs> you know, there have been some serious shots, like, and although it's hilarious and I enjoy it, <laughs> it's still just bad. I, I feel like if they continue to do that, they're going to push Microsoft to do something drastic, which may, they may pull something drastic enough to get back some of the sales that they lost. So I'd kind of just humbly let them die. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the price point was a huge... It was a huge, huge win. Huge bomb. How about some of the... Uh... Well, I mean, they talked about some features and stuff they had with, like, the ultimate videos, or unlimited videos or whatever. And, I mean, that stuff is cool and all, but, you know, we're going to focus on the games here. Okay, so we had some technical difficulties on John's part. You know, that connection, you know. <laughs> that horrible two, connection out two, in the mountains. Yeah, that that two sticks and ten foil that keeps my internet running <laughs> outside in the country. Sometimes the wind just blows it away and you gotta make a new one. <laughs> you gotta make a new one, you know, attached to the cable <laughs> underground. Alright, so, um, so where we left off, I was bringing up the topic of some of the games that they showed. Uh, they, they start at, what was the first thing they showed? The first thing, the first new thing they showed. They showed oh, Last the of Us, thing. like, first off. And then they showed Puppeteer, which I don't know anything about. Yeah, me either. Um, it looked like Little Big Planet. Yeah, I've always kind of thought that it was from, like, Media Molecule or something, but it, it's not. No, Media um, Molecule's making a... Did they show uh, the new Media Molecule uh, title? For, like, two seconds, it's a uh, tear away for the Vita. Which I'm disappointed that it's not Little Big Planet 3. Yeah, I think a Little Big Planet could have been phenomenal on the PS4. Definitely as, I a, think it's, as a launch title, definitely. Yeah. I think it's inevitable that a Little Big Planet 3 will come along eventually. Oh, yeah. Um, and it'll be amazing. And I understand when a studio kind of wants to pull away from, you know, their most iconic IP just to do something new. Which And I respect that. It's just that, like... For a launch, I really think that a little Big Planet three would have been just that much of an extra jab, <laughs> like just get an extra <laughs> uppercut in there. You know what I mean? To to the sales of Microsoft. You know what I mean? And just it's just an extra bullet in the gun to shoot. Yeah, it. it's an extra bullet in the gun, and uh, they pulled out you know all of their guns to see three. So you know why not have all those iconic AP IPs, but. Regardless, of, I have faith in anything that Medium Molecule does. I have no clue about the tears, though. I have no very, very little clue about it. I, I think it. everyone does very little about <laughs> it. After that, they showed uh, Rain, which was that weird game where you were a ghost, and you can only see yourself when you're in the rain. That, yeah. That, you know, like that little boy ghost or something? Yeah. Yeah, it was weird, too. And you, um, can, you can only see yourself when you're in the rain, because, like, they like he like went under like a walkway and like completely disappeared. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's more you know more paranormal games. I mean, hey, every system needs one of those, I suppose. <laughs> like, but I am glad that they're that they are not just gonna have a typical roster of typical games and nothing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're bringing I'm, some unique stuff. Yeah, I'm glad that they're bringing some unique stuff, some indie stuff, some new studios. You know what I mean? Yeah, they brought in a lot of indie uh, developers. Yeah, they're they're really pulling for those indie developers because I think, as well, what they're going to be doing is really trying to get a lot of support from. I w I don't I want to say like a lot of you know like PC developers like Warframe for example, there's going to be a launch title on the PS4. Yeah. Um, you know this is originally a, a PC you know MMO type of game, um, Diablo three as well. You know it's going to be on the on the PlayStation. That, that's so. not going to be good on consoles though whether you get on the I, ps3 I no or the ps4 i have no faith in the I mean, I mean, I, the controls of just arpgs never work on consoles they yeah, never I'm, have in the past and they never will specifically because controls 
Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not too too big on on huge on Diablo. I mean, I like Diablo three, but I just feel like you know if you haven't already played Diablo three, you're not gonna play Diablo three. Yeah, so if you like, haven't played the... it already, you don't have interest in it. Exactly. So I'm just like, what's the point in bringing it to the PS3 and PS4? Um, I feel like there's some other games that could have brought into there. Um, but it is exciting to see the fact that they have the capability of porting these games to the PS4 and the PS3 so well. So that means we could really be opening up a very big MMO market, you know, on the PS4, which I am excited for. Well, that, seems, that seems like a big thing that the consoles are going for this gen is trying to get their hands at the MMO market. Yeah, they were trying With to get the, divi- the division. Destiny's exactly, kind of yeah, Destiny's Destiny. kind of up there too. Destiny is pretty much an MMO in my opinion. The way that it's like, it's <laughs> they have which, Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, yeah, Elder Scrolls Online as well. World of Tanks, the best game ever. Yeah, World of Tanks, Plants vs Zombies. Yeah, <laughs> going into that free to play market too. Um, just just so you know, World of Tanks is I was being sarcastic, but the best game ever. <laughs> <laughs> but um, even though it was at the end of the show. I mean, we're kind of skipping around a little bit here, but how how did you feel about Destiny overall? With your uh, unbiased, I mean, it, not Cameron <laughs> eyes. <laughs> my unbiased, you know, I'm always biased towards something. It definitely looked fun, and I'm probably gonna definitely gonna pick it up on launch. But I feel like what they showed was not the best segment to show, because in the trailers they have all these like awesome looking anim- enemies with like cool attack yeah, patterns and yeah. stuff like that. That looked like you know bungee styled enemies, like the like the brutes from Halos and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. And they they showed kind of just really basic generic enemies for the, the gameplay. I wouldn't say basic generic. They only showed one race. You know what I mean? They only showed one faction um, of enemies. But they didn't do anything that was like special. They were still kind of just shoot yeah, them up enemies. Yeah, I agree. I really would have liked to see them do like that quad laser combo <laughs> like laser sword <laughs> combo that they pulled off on the you know in the in the uh, enemy demo you know what i mean like when they showed them he's like slashing and being all you know that thing that i would like to see some of that i would like to see the enemies be a bit more dynamic in their movements i definitely think that when the game does come out though that will be the case without a doubt i think that you're gonna really get yeah the, as i said the really enemies that they've seen the in the trailers factions. as i said the enemies i've seen in the other trailers look really cool to fight against yeah but it's just the what they showed was not that so yeah. I wasn't completely blown away yeah and I, I I agree with that part I definitely but but that but knowing that they're going knowing that they will deliver on that end you know what I mean like knowing that yeah you know there's going to be so many different enemies that will have that will be completely discernible by the way that they attack and the way that you attack them and the power of those different enemies and I'd like to really I really can't wait to see like the tiers of that of, of each you know faction you know what I mean like how you have you know those grunt types and just how extravagant and how big and strong and great and, and awesome. how many different tactics you'll need to fight the different it, enemies exactly and like you know tactics that vary between factions and you know i can't wait to see those big big uh big brute guys too like you can see the the weight you know in their armor <laughs> as, they got that they, big ass shields too yeah and they they look awesome i can't wait to play um against each faction i even though at essential everybody's kind of saying oh it's a marriage between like Halo and Borderlands, but like, who says that's a bad idea? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, that's an amazing idea. You know, when I saw, I didn't think that the game was going to be like anything that they showed, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be like an open world Halo type of thing. And then I saw that, oh snap, they have, you know, dynamic dynamic events. They have, you know, um, randomized dynamic, event, dynamic events at that. And um, they have, you know, loot systems and bosses and dungeons and, I was just, and, and powers. You know what I mean? Yeah, they showed and off the, uh, the Warlock like, class. Yeah, and I was just like, thank God. Like, this is the <laughs> game. This is the shooter that I've always wanted. And, you know, when they were using the powers and they were, when they were using different things, it didn't seem corny or, like, you know. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was just very... It, it, it seemed kind of, uh, like, um, what am I trying to think of? Oh, my God. I don't know why I can't think of this right now. Um, I can't think of what I'm trying to like cyber mage type stuff. Yeah, exactly. But I can't think of like the specific like name. But yeah, like cyber mage stuff is what they were pulling off. 
Yeah, and, it's and just if, like if, how it, they all it, have different... it fits the style really well. It does. It really does. It was just like it was. It just seemed like a very, very good mixture of like, you know, that kind of really high tech future stuff, and then still having like that a... like frontier. Exactly, and like I'm almost having kind of a little bit of like how do I say this? Um, like when it comes to like the factions in the world, and like in the and how. The characters look somewhat roguish, you know what I mean, and have like you know the hoods and the robes, and they they have that nice like uh, costume and character customization, and you know it it just has like a, a really nice fusion of you know genres there. And um, I'm not entirely sure how character pro progression is going to go if you're going to be leveling up, if your weapons are going to level up, or however that goes. But um, it it, it looked phenomenal. I took issue because of just the player that they had it was terrible terrible and it's just like you're making the game look worse than it really is buddy like get this guy off the stick so like i was just thinking the entire time like this would be, this would be so much more awesome if you didn't suck like and like when they when, even when they killed the boss and they got that new gun and everything like that and the one guy got the sniper rifle and i was just like ready for this game because i saw that this is basically just going to be a, a great big like mmo-esque type of game and you know you have um your team and other teams that are going to group up with you and especially in uh, these dynamic events and um you know you saw the yeah you saw like the, the hover cycles and things like that you know yeah and um yeah it's, it's it it was definitely one of my favorite one of the well, one of the things i'm looking forward to most but it it looks great to me back to the topic of indie games was there any of them that like caught your eye at all honestly no, no one showed me any indie games this year that like I really was like, wow, that looks great. The only one I'm looking forward to is Transistor, and that's just because it's made yes, by the, oh, that is, I, that's I, the, yeah, and that's just because it's made Bastion. by the people of Bastion, which was yeah. an amazing indie I don't game. Think of them as indie though, like they are, but like to me, you made Bastion, so it's just like <laughs> you're, you're established. <laughs> like um, Transistor, though, that I will be getting that. That's yeah. That's day one. Um. They, they they still... Well, the first time I saw it, it was in, like, very, very early pre-alpha footage. Mm -hmm. And, like, the girl had, like, three different attacks, but it all had the same attack animation. And I was yeah. hoping that was just because it was early footage, but it looks like it's they still are doing that. Yeah, and that's going to, like, bug the crap out of me. Yeah, same. I don't like that little... That, that, that one same stab the sword into the ground, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm... That's it's literally like the that only attack animation in the game that I've yeah, seen it's so looking far. like that might be it. I was really hoping for some other things. They did say that she gets a lot of attacks, though, in the video that I was watching. He said I'm just, I'm just hoping they're different animations for him. Same. I'm, because he said that she gets a lot of attacks and different, you know, attack and, and different, like, you know, styles of attacks. I'm just really hoping that, like, that doesn't just mean that whatever she shoots out of the sword <laughs> is different. a little farther. <laughs> you know, like, you know what I mean? I... I kind of want her to just like kind of haul that thing, you know, and just swing, do something, anything at all. You know, you don't have to be, you know, the kid from Bastion, but like, you know, just swing around and a uh, giant hammer effortlessly. But I just the one stab, you know what I mean? It's just, nah, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll see more about that later. It still looks beautiful, though. The soundtrack was awesome from World War II. Oh, yeah, it still has the production quality of, you yeah, know. That that production quality is there. I'm just wondering if they'll get the uh, another award from Skype Game Awards for their soundtrack. <laughs> Probably. They, they definitely earned it last time. Yeah, I think they. That there looks like they're they're really pulling for to to do everything and more that Bastion did in this one. Yeah. So I can't see them not like really expanding on that and being recognized for all that expansion that they've done on their. All, on all, all they're already like you know critically acclaimed um, title, um, so I'm looking forward to Transistor. I uh, was really surprised that they debuted that on the PS4 though. Yeah, it was it was a little surprising. I was it, it was a uh, Xbox Live Arcade game and on PC. Really? Yeah. Because I knew it was PC, but I did not know that it was um, first going to the arcade game I, I mean the live arcade um but 
at the same time, I mean, every month been debuting games that aren't really theirs this entire E3. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, I mean, Xbox One debuted um, Dark Souls 2. So it's just like, hey. <laughs> so everyone is showing off stuff that's not theirs entirely. So I was fine with it. One trailer that everyone has been crying about is the Mad Max trailer. I didn't get the, get the I came in like at the very end. Ah. Uh. Because everybody was like, oh, it's going to be Fallout 4, it's going to be Fallout 4, and then they was like, oh, it's Mad Max, and everyone's like, oh, all bullshit, is not Fallout 4. <laughs> As if, like, these people, like, don't realize that the entire Fallout franchise is based off of the Mad Max movie. Yeah. The entire franchise, everything of the franchise is taken from Mad Max. Yeah. So I don't see really a big problem <laughs> in, this, in finally paying homage to the source material, like... I mean, it, it definitely would have been nice to see a Fallout 4, but... I mean, but it's inevitable, you know what I mean? It's nice to see a new series come up. Like, that's the type of gamer I pretty much am, is, like, I know that it's coming eventually. I don't need to whine about it. <laughs> like, if I know <laughs> that it's coming, I'm fine. I can wait. But, like, if it's something that I really don't think that's going to happen, that, like, needs to happen, like, now, like SSX, for example, <laughs> like, at EA's conference, that was one thing I was kind of like, come on, come on, guys, like, it needs to happen. I don't. That was like, the only thing I was looking forward to the EA conference. Well, exactly. You know what I mean. So like in that kind of thing, it's it's different because that's also like a really iffy franchise. You never know when one's gonna pop up. So that's why I was kind of pulling for that. But when it comes to like a new Fallout and things of that nature and things that you know obviously are going to be on PS4 eventually, I'm not really worried about it. Very. Uh, Quantic Dream showed two games surprisingly. They showed uh, Beyond Two Souls, which looks not, not what I was expecting. Yeah, <laughs> like not what I thought it was at all. And not I, in a good way either. I was not that interested in before. Not that I don't love the company. I do love the company, yeah, but the game course. itself didn't interest me. I mean, I wasn't like. It super, seemed like it was just being before. promoted as Ellen Page, the game, and <laughs> not as anything else. Yeah, because they put <laughs> Ellen Page as like. Instead of saying, like, the character or whatever, they just... Ellen Page. I'm like, okay, we love her in Juno. Relax. <laughs> like, I mean, it just... When you constantly kind of throw the Ellen Page in our face, we're like, okay, we understand it's Ellen Page, the video game. Like, but the thing is, like, I wasn't all that excited for it before. Now I'm super not excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> like... Just because it's like, I don't know, apparently Ellen Page goes to military school and becomes a Navy SEAL ninja and Ellen Page Batman. Like, <laughs> Ellen Page not... Batman. <laughs> Ellen Page SEAL yeah. Team 6. It's like, yeah. It's just, Gonna you know, go kill Ellen... Osama. <laughs> this is Ellen Page Steven Seagal, you know what I mean? It's Ellen Seagal. <laughs> like, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm nothing against Ellen Page, of course. Nothing against the game. It was just like when it first started out, it looked like something very interesting and and creative because because they were emphasizing like, like some paranormal stuff yeah, with it. Exactly, they were she has a phantom some, that follows her around that, that gives her powers stuff. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and that's what it seemed like. And that that game looked very interesting. I wasn't like super super duper interested because I was still very skeptical because it was still very early. But now I'm just like I have no clue what's going on. <laughs> I don't I don't know if they dropped that entire like subject it looks about like it. They did I didn't see anything or what yeah now she's just super spy she's steven seagal like what happened and it to... looks it looks like it's gonna be some action game and i can't see quantum it... dream making a good action game <laughs> or it ellen page being the center focus of that <laughs> like, <laughs> ellen beating people up as ellen page just seems weird like it's just a small fragile young girl just yes that's like the fighting of terrorism america yeah, <laughs> that's like them making Panty and Stocking the new face of Brain Age. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? It just doesn't mix. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I, just, I didn't, I didn't see it. But I'm, I'm, I don't want to judge the game early. It's just, it's just from the trailer that they showed it, it seemed like they're taking an entire new direction. And from, not as not a good one. Yeah, and, and exactly, and not in a good way. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong. But like, I mean, just from what they showed, I wasn't too excited about that. But that's like the only thing at that show, at the conference that I was kind of like womp 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 about. You know what I mean? What else did they show? They showed. They showed the best game ever. Okay. 
Yeah, it's the best game ever. Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> we we brought I, this up earlier. I, it doesn't matter. I have to do it again because I. I feel really like I should. It. I feel like I'm just gonna keep calling it Final Fantasy 13 versus. Just cause. Uh, yeah, exactly. I feel like I'm just gonna be call keep calling it Final Fantasy versus 13. Kingdom Maybe Hearts like, 15. Yeah. <laughs> Which is something that our kids, kids, <laughs> kids, 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 children won't be able to play. But, um, like I, when I saw that, it was just like, cause when I saw Tetsuya Nomura pop up on screen, I was like, okay, what are they gonna say? Like, what's he gonna do? How's he gonna dis disappoint us next? The only things he could have shown were Final Fantasy 15. Well, and yeah, but no, but I, 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 when he was like. Well, we have, um, like, I know you guys want to hear about Final Fantasy, but I can't say anything right now. I literally thought that was just going to be it, and he's going to go off screen. So I was, like, picking up my phone, getting rid of the <laughs> That dial. would have been so trolly. I was like, no, but he <laughs> does things like that. So, like, I was just ready to pick up my phone and dial the number for the hitman I know to go kill him. Because Why do you know a hitman, BS. John? <laughs> okay. I'm getting sick of his BS. So I'm picking up my phone, going to dial this hit on Tetsu no more. And then he's like, please look at this trailer. And I'm like, okay, hold the phone. <laughs> and then I watch it, and I just put the phone down gently, and just tears, tears. Like, Why my phone I am off? already naming it the best game ever, ever that was or will be. Like, <laughs> I understand that you think most of the gameplay shown is like all not really. Controlled. Well, well, no, because I, I watched the original trailer you showed, and then I watched the gameplay you showed me, and I was more just happy just to see that the game was this far in development yeah exactly but yes i saw the gameplay of it and it looked awesome but i feel like it's also very very automated kind of combat similar to kingdom see, hearts maybe even tell. more i uh, see i don't think it's a, I, I can't tell in some ways, but if you, you look if down, you looked at the hud it, it was one attack button and he's doing all this crazy shit with one attack button <laughs> and i'm like so it's like kingdom hearts but like times 10 <laughs> but the thing is, like, okay, if you look that, if you look at the, if you look at the HUD, um, and you look at, you, you see uh, Link form, um, attack and warp, okay. And I figured warp was when he was throwing his sword and going to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and then everything from there on, when he was doing like the, when, for example, when he threw it into the ceiling and then, you know, like slid down the side. I figured that was just, you, you know, you simply holding the stick to the side or whatever. It doesn't seem like they, there is a big lack of control there. But then when I looked at the gameplay, like, clearly you can warp around and dodge and slash and dodge, slash, dodge, slash, warp, whatever you want to, you know, things like that. Um, I also, my theory as well is that your warp or your powers and things of that nature vary upon the sword that you're using. Because if you look down again, there's a, basically a slider where it allows you yeah, to Yeah, and it shows you all five weapons. Yeah, it shows you all, all the weapons that you can use, which each apparently have different attacks and different, you know, abilities depending on you know which um ability you decide to use which i'm kind of i'm totally cool with that um with that stuff because i like playing kingdom hearts so playing kingdom hearts to me is fun <laughs> so it's just like you know i'm fine if they keep that don't pull a rise is what we're, what we're calling it now and don't you know <laughs> in just in just quick time events the video game i i have i know he's not gonna do that like i, you, I mean i know tetsuya namor's games he de he's not gonna do that. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do that. So like that's why I feel safe because like I know he's not going to do that to a game that everyone has been saying to him. This better be the best fucking thing I've ever played, or I'll kill you in your sleep. <laughs> like everybody has that that mindset of like, if this isn't the best game I've ever played in my entire life, I will never give you another red cent of my money. Like because it's been so long, you know what I mean. And in the interview. He even said himself, like, we've been focusing on really trying to make this gameplay experience quality um, and give you a lot of control over what's really going on and things of that nature. And we're trying to actually give it even more quality and give you even more control. That's what we're working on right now on the game. And I was just like, please, like, <laughs> please no quick time events. <laughs> like, don't, like, because the thing is, like, Kingdom Hearts 2, for example, was kind of big on the quick time events, but at the same time, I was with, kind of, with the reaction commands. Yeah, but I was, I was a little too forgiving of that, to be honest with you, just because they were so cool. Like, well, they they also <laughs> were like not necessarily quick time events because most they're, of them were like <laughs> most of them were specific to what enemies were doing. Yeah, there was like oh, some not, quick time I'm events with like the bosses. Yeah, with the bosses there was a couple. But even then, that there's there's so like far in between that 
they're not that bad. It's definitely it's not a, Rise. Oh yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not a Rise. No, well, I, I like the reaction uh, things on. Oh yeah, that was, that was King Wars Two, my favorite combat at all this series. Yeah, exactly. It had well, I mean, yeah, yeah, because I mean, I was about to say Dream Drop Distance had some. I really love the uh, the, the parkour. Uh, to be honest with you, which is something that I think, because when he was saying, um, it's all about Kingdom Hearts, just to jump around a little bit, I love that he showed that much of Versus 13. Um, would have wanted to see more of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, but I would have wanted to see more of Kingdom I Hearts. I wouldn't have even, I wouldn't even put him behind it, that like, the Kingdom Hearts gameplay that they showed was actually like, pre-rendered. Completely. Yeah, it was completely pre-rendered, most likely. <laughs> and, that, and that doesn't necessarily bother me. I think he just kind of wanted to show you that it was in development. Yeah, because it, it was they just showed up just King Wars three in development. That's all they had to really say. <laughs> That's all they could do. Just, well, yeah, because like I mean, think of it. Like he's been trying to get back to his games, but fucking Kitase and all the other retards. I mean, no offense to Kitase, but you know everyone else <laughs> at that studio keep pulling them away to work on the garbage that is Final Fantasy thirteen. I don't even want to talk about right now. Okay, you brought it so, up. <laughs> true. And it's like they, they, he was literally pulled away from his projects to work on those games like so many times. Like, if I was Tetsuya Nomura, I would quit. <laughs> like, I would be <laughs> like, you guys, like, can't even make my own game. I'm going to Nintendo. <laughs> like, I did, like, I, I couldn't. I, when I, I, I kept hearing that at every turn of, of how he kept being pulled away to make these other games or help with these other games' character concepts or the other games' character models or whatever. And I was just like, dude, stop it. <laughs> like, I want. <laughs> Final Fantasy Versus 13, and after seeing that trailer, like, it looks like Advent Children, the video game. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, it had that level of quality. It, it looked amazing. The graphics were equal to Advent Children. Yeah, which is which blows me away, personally. Like, the fact that you are gonna just be... Because I can't even, like, really conceive, you know what I mean? Like, in my <laughs> mind, playing a game that looks like Advent Children having full control over everything that happens. Like, that just doesn't, I just can't think of it, you know what I mean? Because we haven't seen anything like that yet. And, um, it, like, when I saw that, that's, that was the blind side sword slash to, 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 to Microsoft. Even though they're, and then I figured out, you know, they're multi-platform, which kind of broke my heart a little bit because I was like, okay, these are, these are our franchises that have been on PlayStation and all the PlayStation and partially Nintendo for a very long time. If you're going to port them to anything, Put them to the Wii U, not Microsoft. Like they don't deserve it, <laughs> frankly. I'm, I mean, I'm yeah, I, I find it weird that, I mean, Final Fantasy ported to the Xbox. Okay, the last you know couple Final Fantasy were also on Xbox. Well, that's just 13 and 13 too. You know what I mean? But well, that's why I said the last couple. Watch your but uh, the Kingdom Hearts franchise has never ever touched a Microsoft system ever. ever. And, I and then they randomly bring the third game onto it. Yeah. I'm in a like, story as convoluted as Kingdom Hearts, they're not going to know anything. Anything. They're going to be... And they might try to pull a Dream Drop Distance and give you, like, that storybook thing, you know, so you can look up stuff and so you can unlock, you know, different parts of the story and, and, and videos and whatnot yourself. But... Because, you know, dude bros love to read. Exactly. Dude bros hate to read, though. So, like, what are you going to do? <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> the only way that you could possibly get the story across to Kingdom Hearts, I mean, the story of Kingdom Hearts across to these dude bros is have, like, a hot blonde chick walk on screen with in a Call of Duty bikini, okay, holding an M16 <laughs> with a football helmet on and then explain it to them in a very slow <laughs> and high-pitched <laughs> Using a lot of cuss words. That's really the only strategy I can think of to get it across to these D-Bros. Like, I hate to generalize every Xbox 360 owner out there, but like... The new it, Xbox is aimed at dude bros, though. Yeah, that's another thing. It's like, the new Xbox is kind of aimed at dude, bro, dude bros, and I hate to generalize all you Xbox 360 fans out there and the Microsoft fans, but like, have you played with your kind? Like, have you played games with other people that aren't fans of your system? Because if you have, you would know that most of you suck. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I that's ninety percent of the like, not ninety percent, but a good portion of the reason why I hate Microsoft so much is because the community just fries my brain. It's it's aimed at dude bros. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the systems communities don't change, and I'm like, no, they definitely do. Yeah, I've played it in everything, and. Xbox is definitely much more dude bro-ish. It's just yeah. 
it's a system aimed at dude bros. It's a lot yeah. more sports focused. It's, I mean, e, e, I mean, uh, Microsoft. You know, they sh- like to show a lot of sports games when they're showing their consoles off. They I'm have ha- they have Halo, which is pretty dude bro. They have Gears of War, which is super dude bro. <laughs> you can't get more dude bro than Gears of War. I mean, when you advertise your game with Call of Duty and hope to impress in Call of Duty. Fish, yeah, exactly. When you when you when you <laughs> advertise with your, fish. Yes, when you try to advertise your console with Call of Duty and impress people with fish, who do you think out there is going to be like swearing by that fish eye eye? Dude bros, not anybody intelligent. And then secondly, like when you try to advertise your console with oh, you can <laughs> manage your fantasy football team. Yeah, like, your fantasy why football team. Why is a fake football team that's not virtual on the screen of my console? like important to me yes and thank you like I just, something only dude bros would do dude bros only bro like and mind you some of my friends have their fantasy football teams and they're you know they're great guys but they're not that dude broish. and like they yeah, we're not, we're not implying that everybody who likes xbox is likes a dude xbox bro likes... and retarded and stuff yeah. like that we're just saying that the most of the population <laughs> is like that and that's what the console and all their franchises are aimed for yeah kind of not they... implying that all of you are douchey little <laughs> dude bros who don't know your hand from your ass <laughs> but like many of you are and if you're out there <laughs> listening to this i hate you <laughs> and there I... goes like half of our viewer base <laughs> it's just that like I and I want as many, but back to topic. I don't. I want as many people to play Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3 as possible because I want Square Enix to succeed. Kind of like I don't want them to succeed because they pulled so much stupid stuff. I feel like they should pay for it, but at the same time, I know that they have been a, a company that's been with me forever, and I've always loved, and they've been my favorite, you know, publisher forever until they started doing this random listening to Square Enix America bullcrap and making phone games. <laughs> Things like that just haunt my dreams, but you know, I still have a little bit of hope for them. So I, there's a lot of people who feel really betrayed by Square Enix quote unquote selling out and, and giving those two IPs over to Xbox One. I think it's because they're kind of hard up for mine to be honest with you. I hate that term of feeling betrayed because a company can't, you know, do whatever it wants with its own stuff. Exactly. But if um, they do something that you don't like, you feel betrayed. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they can do like, whatever they want with their stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's their stuff. And like, I'm loyal enough to the actual game itself that I want it to succeed, and I want everyone to play it and everyone to buy it. That being said, um, I was a little like, eh, about it going on. You know what I mean? Going on that system. This is it. Just doesn't seem right to me. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, what? if it works out, it works out. Um, I don't. I can't see it getting many sales on the Xbox One. Nah, JRPGs don't tend to sell on yeah, exactly. Xbox. Exactly. You know, JRPGs typically do not sell on the Xbox One, and the Xbox 360. Yeah, or the Xbox or 360. The, or the original Xbox. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Just Microsoft systems don't tend yeah, to sell JRPGs. Pretty much. Uh, not to say that there weren't good RPGs on. Because dude, bros, look at them and go, "Oh, those for faggots." Yeah, I don't like to read. Who likes to read? Where's this Chinese? This is like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it kills me. But it's just like, oh gosh. So, you know, I just don't think they have the, the biggest audience for those types of games. Yeah, I'm wondering um, if they're gonna take a loss just yeah, from porting wonder, it over. Exactly, that's my worry. I, I'm hoping that they don't take a loss from porting it over because <sighs> that would be terrible. You know what I mean? And I don't think that. It's worth it if they're going to take a loss, but if they do port it over, I hope it goes successfully because I want all the sales on those two games so that they have the incentive to, incentive to make more. Because um, again, Final Fantasy 15 will be the best game ever made, ever. Period. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it will. Big words from John. Yes, big words from John, and you can I stand by those words. <laughs> if the game doesn't get anything below an 11.5 out of 10 then (laughs) i lost faith 
I don't know what what else impressed you besides all all, all that we have have mentioned so far. Out of all that we've mentioned so far, what? How do you feel about Infamous Second Son? Is my question. I I'm definitely gonna was... play it, but some of the animations look wonky to me. Not Which wonky, just kind of dumb. Out, though, you know what I mean. When the dad, when the dude was running forward shooting his Insured. fireballs, yeah, he kind of he kind of looked like a baby trying to walk and like keep his yeah. hands forward to balance. Yeah, I. That's an infamous game. It's so, like I'm obligated, but like at the same time, I, I was. There's not uh, quite enough about it. Yeah, to really to make it a good decision. Largely. And when I first saw it, I was really just like. Huh? Like I was, especially after because you know why Infamous Second Son is like this, right? Because the 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 you know the creator, he looked at the trophy ratings um and of of, of the game, and apparently more people picked the good ending, and so he picked whatever ending people chose most of. Which I think is a good. I thought that was really cool. I thought it was a good strategy. Well, most people do the good endings and but that's games. yeah, and then do the and then do the bad ending. So it's like doesn't it's matter good. what the game is. People generally yeah. go for the good ending, it, especially first. You know what I mean? Especially first. Yeah, and so it's just like, oh gosh, why could you not pick the bad ending? <laughs> like, <laughs> the bad ending would have been so much better for a second game. I mean, for a third game, like, because I hated the, the good ending. The good ending was kind of useless to me trying to talk about the endings without spoiling them because they're pretty big endings can i spoil the endings or should i not probably not oh gosh it's just what happens has no it's impact. very drastically different from the good and bad ending yes they're they're so drastically different except the only one that actually has a real impact on the world is the bad ending just put it that way <laughs> <laughs> the good ending has no Im impact on the world and i will discuss this with cameron afterward <laughs> why it does not <laughs> But it has no impact on the world, and I hated that. I hate that something monumental happened for virtually nothing. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> but um, it was a good strategy to to go with that. I thought that was cool how he did that and was actually really paying attention and, and you know did a lot of uh, you know player based decisions. I thought that was cool. That being said, the new protagonist. I don't know how I feel about him. His power set looks very similar to the girl in Infamous 2. Nyx. N yes, Nyx. I, I think that's basically who they base his powers off of. Yeah, which is Nyx. weird to me. I think the chain thing is a little weird for his weapon. Yeah. I think there's a lot of things in the game that I kind of just don't really... I'm not really too keen on. I feel like when I get it in my hands, I'll like it a bit more. Yeah. Um. So I'm not too sold on Infamous Second Son. I'm not well, I'm not completely sold. Like I'm, I, I mean, I'm halfway there. You know what I mean? I'm just there's some things I kind of need to see about the game before I say, oh, that's a must buy, must buy day one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. And what else did they show? It's yeah, such a such a huge uh, presentation. Since, since we didn't catch up on Quantic Dream's second game, Dark Sorcerer. Oh, how could I forget? Um, Dark Sorcerer that. Had a fantastic teaser. Like had had a fantastic trailer. It was a great video. Yeah. Does not tell us anything about anything the game. About it. it just kinda makes you want to know more though. You know what I mean? Which is good enough on its own, I suppose. Yeah, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like some comedic thing where you play as a guy who's acting in a movie set that's supposed to be a movie set for a video game. You're just breaking that fourth or, wall. Or or if you or if they're just breaking that fourth wall just for the trailer and you actually has to do with a dark sorcerer? Yeah. And actually stays in like the medieval fantasy. Yeah, or if it's just like a little bit of both, you know. Yeah, like, yeah you never know. Either way, uh, I think that's a, that's another thing that they were. That's part of actually. I don't know if you remember of, of the PS4 uh, reveal, but the when they showed how their new engine and the power of their system allows for more expression and more um, life in the faces of their characters. That's something that that the dark sorcerer character was the was the character that they showed for that. I don't know if you remember that, but oh that was, yeah 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 it is yeah, it is that, that was now it. that I think back at it. Yeah, that was it. So, um, and you could really, and that's what I was looking for because I recognized him. That's what I was looking for in the trailer, and they they did a bang up job on on that. Um, 
just the they that they definitely delivered on that claim of saying, you know, how things are a lot more lifelike and the way that things look. I really uh, do hope that it stays like the comedic approach to it all. Me too. Just because Beyond Two Souls looks like it's trying to be so serious. Yeah. To where and, it's kind of bad. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> then no I want game something. That I want the opposite. Yeah, there's there's really honestly no game I want to be as serious as Beyond Two Souls books, unless it's like in a fantasy based setting where you can just completely just go along with it just because of reasons that you're not aware of, like because things in that world exist like that and that's how it is, but there's no real explanation for it. When something is that like set in the real world and is from real people that you know, I mean, they explain to you that Ellen Page is is, is the, the voice actor like a billion times. <laughs> her, her, her name is like in big bold font on the cover as if it was like a movie. Like, I, I, got, I swear to God, I'm wait, I'm waiting for it. To, to I'm waiting for it to say like Ellen Page's Beyond Two Souls. Like yeah. she made the entire thing. Yeah. Like I'm I'm just gonna take that and run with it from now on. Beyond Two Souls was made by Ellen Page. <laughs> yeah, that's my theory. Nothing against Ellen Page either. It's just that like the it's just eh. <laughs> It's, it's just, it seemed like it took itself way too seriously. And to see Dark Sorcerer, a game called Dark Sorcerer, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, not take itself seriously at all, I felt like I was refreshing. So I I can't wait to see what that turns out like. I'm definitely looking forward to Dark Sorcerer more than Beyond Two Souls. <laughs> and all they did was show like a 50 second video. Yeah. Do you think any more highly on Knack now that they showed more of it? Not really. I'm still don't. I still don't care for it at all. I don't. Yeah, the same here. Um, I think that it will be good for some for people who, those who do buy it. I don't think it's going to be a bad game by any means. It's just that like when you get the creator of Crash Bandicoot, you know what I mean, and all that, and Jack and Daxter out on stage. People kind of want a new Crash Bandicoot over or Jack, Jack and Daxter. Daxter. Like, we don't want Knack. And we're just like, dude, we're excited for IP, but like, for new IP, by all means. But like, if not you Not Knack. Yeah, but not Knack. Like, if you wanted anything, you should have just brought out something that was like Jack and Daxter or, or, or Crash Bandicoot. Like, I understand that how we sound right now when we say that because there's so many gamers who we disagree with who say things similar to that, but this is a special case. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very special case of which they really, he, of which someone that iconic in the company should have came out and just said, hey, we understand that you're wondering where Jack and Daxter have been for like the past ever. Just they could have so. done some like cool ass crossover. Yeah, they could, exactly. You know, they, they, there's, there's so many options there. Um, replace, like, replace Daxter with Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, <laughs> like anything, just something, you know. And it's just like, or maybe just Daxter in, in in Crash's world, you know. Any, just anything at all that pertains to those two games, I'd have been happy with. But um, they, we got Knack. We got Knack. You know what I mean? And it's just like I'll wait to see how it goes. It's just not something that I'm interested right now, in, in right now. You know what I mean? I've 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 seen a lot of it, and it's just I just kind of have the eh feeling. You know what I mean? It's just nothing impressive about it. Doesn't look like it's anything special. Yeah, no, I, I mean I don't want to like go that drastic as to say it's just nothing special about the game whatsoever. It's just it's just not a game that I can I personally see myself running out first day to buy. Um, even if it, it may be very good and get very good ratings, it's just not something that I can see myself going to the store and rushing to reserve, you know what I mean? I just feel like this was a prime time to be like, hey, Nintendo is not the only one with iconic IPs that they can revitalize and make epic again, you know what I mean? They could have just, they could, they could have told me that would have <laughs> been a gun. That would have been a gun they just, you know, just shots fired everywhere. You know, and they could have came out and, 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 re, and just revived, you know, I think the Jack series would be absolutely perfect to like reboot on on the PS4 personally. Especially with all everything that they added in throughout every game. Yeah. Like Jack and Daxter starts out kind of dark but still very cartoony, not too too serious. And then like Jack two and three is just guns ablazing, everything's <laughs> dark, killing people at Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> riding on bikes, giant city, like j people I personally the Jack franchise is is amazing to me. And I feel like that could have been... Yeah, it's something. one of my favorite franchises that was on the PS2. Yeah, and it could have been amazing on PS4. 
And especially because it skipped an entire generation, you know what I mean? And, and people like, have been wanting it the entire generation. Exactly. And Not I that the don't... Uncharted games were bad or anything, but they, we people still wanted a Jack and Daxter game. Yeah, people definitely wanted a Jack and Daxter game, and I feel like... I feel like they have no choice but to make one. <laughs> because <laughs> it's... It was such... It's only a matter of time until people start rioting. Yeah, yeah it's only a matter of time before people, there's a, a, a group of people, you know, outside of the building, <laughs> chanting Jack and Baxter with picket signs and pitchforks. But I just feel like it would have been... Bring Jack back! Yeah, Bring exactly. Bring Jack back! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just have, like, a big, like, knack, like, tied to a noose. <laughs> 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 Lighting it on fire stabbing it like it's just I have nothing against the new IP it's just that a Jack and a new Jack and Daxter would have just just all the more nails in that coffin you know what I mean <laughs> like on, on those other consoles you know and it's just like that would have been amazing to see it's gonna happen I feel like cause, especially because Sony is kind of realizing what they need to do to achieve what they want to achieve with this new console and realizing you know what franchise they need to dig into i'm still waiting for a new ratchet and clank that new ratchet and clank it needs to happen by the way <laughs> like it and i there's yeah, no yeah I, I don't know what's gonna happen with the ratchet and clank series if they're gonna bring that back at all yeah since insomniac is going multi-platform and it, now on xbox one yeah sad but i mean things we should have seen on the ps4 <laughs> but um, overall, they definitely had the best conference. This they they won E three, you know. Um, for once, you know what I mean. Like someone doesn't completely fuck up on their on their uh, <laughs> on their uh, uh, gosh press conference. Uh, for once, like you know, every year someone fucks up somewhere. <laughs> like someone screws up somewhere along the line, and uh, for once, Sony kind of just you know. They, they came out their guns blazing man that 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 final <laughs> just that final nail in the coffin at the end with you know that price point you know the, the 400 it's everybody just loved yeah people were cheering in the streets <laughs> for that <laughs> one like $400 for that system is they're losing money <laughs> like, but so many people are going to buy it you know what I mean that like they don't care. They could have made that system two hundred dollars, and everyone's going to buy it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna get tons of sales from games. Exactly, and you know, and it's given, and all the and all the developers are behind it. Everyone is behind it. Everyone's right behind the PS4. Everybody believes you know this is the definitive system that's going to let us do whatever we want in any game and make any game we want to. We like the system. This is the best thing ever. You know what I mean? So it's just like. It has so much backing, and I'm waiting for some people to say PS4 has no games. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for somebody to bring that phrase back. <laughs> oh, it's, it's just, just there's just too much. The the PS4 has this, it has just an army. Like I imagine the PS4 it just basically just has an army of of every. No one can really stand up to it at this point. It's just a tyrant to me personally. That's like how I think of the PS4 because. It's more powerful than everything. It's cheaper, and the feature set doesn't completely. You know, no mandatory gay porn. You know what I mean? No like mandatory PS4. gay porn. No mandatory gay porn. You know, and you know the, the, the Xbox One is so filled with mandatory gay porn. It's so full of porn. It's it so just full oozes of with gay porn. So much gay porn, I can't handle it. So it's just like, yeah, dude. There's just no. There's, they won the console war at this point. <laughs> like, you know, they they won E3. It was the be- probably the best conference to date, I'll even say, in e- at E3. Yeah. Mm, it's a solo conference, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it definitely, definitely is a solo conference, the best one to date. Um, that's how I feel about, about Sony's conference. They, they came out and they pulled out all the stops and did everything right for once <laughs> yeah xbox did if like I, I had this list of like ways xbox can fuck up and i had the whole list and then i had <laughs> ways sony cannot fuck up and win and i had the whole list <laughs> xbox hit everything on their list 
Really? Sony hit everything on their list. It's just... It's just that Sony has a countermeasure for everything that Xbox could ever do. We have Halo. Okay, the best experience for Destiny is on PS4. And guess what? You won't have to pay $500 to do so or experience mandatory gay porn. Or <laughs> experience mandatory gay porn. We won't watch you, you know, masturbate, you know. We're, we're not going to, you know, data mine your information and send it to third-party companies or sell your stuff to Obama. <laughs> like, we don't. We're not going to do any of that, you know, and you don't have to have our light sensor on necessarily if you think that's going to be an issue, you know what I mean? The console so also like, doesn't look like a box. Exactly. It doesn't it look, like a, doesn't look like a 90s DVD player. Exactly. It's like, that thing is massive. <laughs> that Xbox One is so huge. I'm just like, dude, like, why is it so big and still The weaker? PS4 looks like it's almost the size of like the slim PS3s, if not exactly. smaller. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't look that big at all. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's, it's a good looking system. It looks like an eraser, too. You know why it looks like an eraser? <laughs> so can erase the Xbox. <laughs> yep, so can scrub out the Xbox. At least they have to have a flat top this time so you can put stuff on it. Yeah. <laughs> that, was my, that was my one gripe with a PS3. Yeah. It was that, that round, bulbous top that you couldn't really set games on without them slipping off. But, yeah. PS4 is going to sell like hotcakes and everyone knows it. <laughs> like Everyone knows that the PS4 is, is going to dominate. Uh, you, if you want it, you got to pre-order it like now. Yeah, pretty much. Which is going to suck because like I don't have <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to, you know like it sucks because like the people who I feel like there's going to be so many people that are, want one and aren't going to be able to get one almost. <laughs> it's going to be like that. It's going to be like the first like how the first month of Wii U, you know what I mean? Everyone went out and got one, and I was like, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> and then there was everybody else who wanted one, was like, I want to do something with that thing, and couldn't find it. <laughs> so it's just like, I think that's exactly how it's going to be. Like, literally. But the only thing about PS4 is, like, they haven't really told us much about the launch window. They did say Killzone was on it. I know that for a fact. I think Killzone, See, Killzone and Knack, they announced as launch And games. Warframe's going to be, and, and some of the PC games, you know what I mean? Some of the PC yeah, stuff Warframe. is going to be launched. Bat Warframe Batman's thing. probably gonna be on it. Yeah. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time, like, when it comes to them saying like, um, <sighs> kills like you know their first party games, you know what I mean, are gonna be launch. It's really difficult for me to believe that because of how many times we've been BS'd on that type of stuff. You know what I mean? By every company. So I'll believe that when I see it. Um, if Killzone is a, is a launch, then that will be right along with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, the new Killzone looks phenomenal. Um, just so much, so many good things about the PS4. I I'm not gonna stop talking about it for days. The the, the PS4 is, is going to be my primary, the primary system in my house next to my next to my Wii U. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm sticking with PC, PS4, and Wii U this yep. this gen. I mean. All gens, though. <laughs> like, there's really nothing. Now that PS4 has the formula down, you know what I mean? There's really nothing that I think Xbox could ever do ever again <laughs> to make a dent. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, cause, like, imagine, like, if they made a console next gen, they'd have to take out all the bullshit, all the gay porn. Yeah. All and then porn. people wouldn't even really trust them anymore after they did that so yeah. then even if they took it out their consoles would not sell as much i'd imagine yeah and because ps4 already wowed everyone they're good people are going to know for a fact hey p you know sony knows what they're doing sony has this on lock you know sony is always going to be constantly giving us what we want and at a low price <laughs> like, at a lower price yeah so it's just like you know, Xbox will be like, hey guys, like, there's no more gay porn, and we're like, yeah, it's okay, you can keep the gay porn because I still don't want it. <laughs> like, there's <laughs> nothing that we, that is going to win us back over now, it, it feels like, because there is so much Xbox hate, and I feel like, and I'm actually kind of happy for the Xbox hate, because people have been beefing up the 360 like it's the best thing ever, and people have been smashing on the Wii U and thinking like it's so bad, and just talking about Nintendo left and right, I'm glad that the Wii U's, like, ears can rest for a little bit you know what i mean <laughs> that nintendo's ears can just rest it can just watch the, it can just watch the fight play it's out that, now. not found they can watch the slaughter <laughs> they can just watch the slaughter 
and enjoy themselves because they're not even in the console war. Right? Yeah, I was about to say. I'm sure some people are listening to this and like, oh, well, after they Sony slaughters Microsoft, they're gonna go after Nintendo. I'm like, Nintendo no, doesn't that's not care. An exactly, and until, like that's not an option like for Sony. That's not an option for anyone because. Nintendo has their audience already. Nintendo yep. has their audience. They have their own people who buy their consoles all the time, it, play, exactly. buy all their games. They're, <laughs> exactly. they're set with it. It's in, and they're thriving with it. They don't need to... They, they don't need your customers. They have their own. That we had horrible third-party support, yet it's, you know, the highest... So it's the fifth most of, sold system ever. Yeah. Like, it had... It sold as over... The, it sold more than the uh, 360 and PS3 combined. Yeah, exactly. You know, I was going to say combined. I don't know if you're going to say combined. No, it, like, Come on. combined it sold yeah. more. It sold it's, that much more. <laughs> exactly. And you know, and people say, oh, well, Wii U's not going to do that. I'm like, it may, it may not. you got to give it time. I mean, like, even though if the Wii U doesn't do that, and I think it may not this gen. Once the first party games start rolling out, it's going to happen. <laughs> Exactly. Once the first part of your game start rolling out, people are going to be picking up those Wii U's, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's going to sit right next to that PS4 in its triumphant standalone <laughs> spot that it's always been in. And, and you know, Even if it's not played as much, it's still going to be successful. Exactly. And the thing is, it's like, you know, I feel like Wii U is really going to surprise some people, though. I mean, give it some give it some time. I feel like it's really going to surprise some people. That's why it's my second place. Play, PlayStation, I have to give them first place for this this E3. Um, Nintendo definitely gets second place for me because that Super Smash Bros. trailer, okay? <laughs> and, uh, and, and that Project X, like, things that they showed, like, were, just is what got me, got me very excited. Things that I really wanted to see and things that everybody knew was coming. I think that's one of the best things about the Nintendo Directs is that... They know what people are expecting. Exactly. And they know and, when to show them. Exactly. And not just that, but, like, they tell you, like, hey, we'll be showing this. So it gets everybody excited for it. <laughs> And then everybody sees it, and then you know the crowd goes wild. Well. Like when, when the Meg, when Mega Man came up and was like, "Okay, this is the new character, one of, one of the, the new characters." And if you watched uh, the 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 stream on the on the website, you saw that the Wii Fit You Girl, which is completely beyond me. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was a dumb addition. <laughs> it's gonna be in, but like you know, it's it's, it's that game and watch character. It's like it is what it is. It's sort of like. <laughs> Um, you know, as well as Villager and some other a bunch of other characters in the weekend showing them up, like, but they they have you know, and, and think of how many people were watching the, the Nintendo stream, you know what I mean? And oh, there's, many, there's there's almost two million, I think. Yeah, two million, two million people watching that stream, and all two million decided to completely just themselves when Mega Man showed up on screen it, on screen and just broke the internet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this stream broke for everybody once yes. Mega Man came up. Mega Man came up and like, everyone shot themselves. Once Smash started coming up, my stream just started chugging. I got like five frames of Smash Brothers, and then Mega Man came up and then just it died. Just to get it to not shut down on me originally, like you were getting five frames, but just so I could actually get it to like work, I literally had to shut off everything in my house that was connected to the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> everything, shut off, shut off all the computers, the DVR, everything that was connected to the Wi-Fi had to turn off, just for me to not get five frames per second, because the internet died as soon as Mega Man came up. And then when Mega Man started, like they started showing the gameplay of Mega Man, everybody shat themselves <laughs> and started typing away, and there went the stream. <laughs> they broke it. The entire internet crashed. Yes, the entire internet crashed, and so it's like you know that alone is a test. You know, tells you is a testament to the fact that Nintendo is will be fine. <laughs> like Nintendo is fine. You know, because out of the so two out of the two million people that are watching the stream, you can't tell me there was a bunch of people watching that that you know just didn't care about Nintendo at all. Yeah, they wouldn't. Can, they wouldn't even waste their time watching Nintendo. Yeah, exactly. Watching that far into it, you know. What I mean, like you had to be somewhere where that is actually streaming and purposefully go there. You're not. That's not like there was nothing after that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was that was a Nintendo Direct. You know, that wasn't on any other site. That was you had to go to the Nintendo site for that, didn't you? Uh, I think so. Yeah. So it's just like they were all on Nintendo, e3.nintendo.com. You know what I mean? It was just like those people cared and they wanted to see what Nintendo was going to do, you know, for better or for worse. And the fact that, you know, after Mario Kart and all was said and done, that stream broke. <laughs> like, <laughs> the entire website broke, actually. 
Um, so it's like, you know, I, Nintendo's going to be fine. PlayStation is back in the spotlight for, you know, once and for all. And uh, I think we can just play Xbox a nice, you know, violin solo on its way out. <laughs> like, they, are, they are the Sega. It's, of the it's, it's just going into the grave and yeah. play some nice violin while it gets buried six feet under. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I hate to call them Sega because Sega at least got to latch on, you know what I mean, to some other, like, consoles. And, and help them out and make some games still and they're still alive. Microsoft can't do that though. Like, what in-house studios do they really have that they can really like latch on to Nintendo or PlayStation? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like we don't want that shit over here. And PlayStation's just gonna laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, nigga, we don't need Halo. We have Destiny. Now that you're out of Nintendo's business. not going to care for any of their stuff. Exactly. Like, and then Indiana. Sony's just going to see them just crawling in, you know, legs blowing off, crawling in, asking for help. They're just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're going to crawl, crawl back to Nintendo. Like, Please Come take on, our man. franchises. <laughs> Lol, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna crawl back to Nintendo, but come on, man! Like, and me and is gonna look at them and just smile and not say a word. He's <laughs> <laughs> just gonna look at him and just smile and not say a thing. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just, they're just they're just gonna give up halfway through. Like, there's just no way that Nintendo would ever, you know what I mean? No, there's no that Sony would ever. And like, people are like, oh, that's being drastic. There's no way that the Xbox is just gonna die. And I'm like. Give me five reasons right now to buy an Xbox One and I will buy one. <laughs> Give me five legit reasons. If you can do that, sir, <laughs> then I will buy one right now. But there's no fucking way that you can give me five reasons that... Definitely now that Titanfall is on PC. Yes, exactly. And Titanfall is on PC. Titanfall is the PC. only thing that I wanted to play on it. And Halo is not a reason. It's, Halo is no longer a reason because of... A lot of people didn't like Halo 4. Yeah, and, and, and Bungie is with is basically back in, you know, back in Sony now. So it's just like you there's there's why would I get Halo? <laughs> like when I can get <laughs> just something else better, you know what I mean? And the main studio from it's not there anymore. So when it comes to the console war, when it comes to E three, Sony wins. Sony is on top. Big Sony time. is definitely on top. And Nintendo, I'm sure, is going to do fine by themselves. There, there will and always be fine. Microsoft is going to struggle. Yeah, Microsoft <laughs> is going to know <laughs> they're, the struggle. They're going to have that we'll Luigi see. struggle jump. Yeah, that, exactly. <laughs> the Luigi struggle jump is going to be Microsoft. <laughs> That's why Luigi's green. Because, because Nintendo, Microsoft. Miyamoto saw the future. <laughs> Miyamoto saw the future and knew that this is what Microsoft will be soon. And so he, that's, I'm going with that story too forever. Now that's why Luigi's green to me <laughs> because maybe I'll the future and just, just completely just modeled him off of the Xbox, how the Xbox will be and how it will turn out. It's that struggle jump. That struggle jump. That struggle jump. <laughs> Trying to get there and just can't. Like, I almost hate to be so biased against Xbox, but like they did it to themselves. I have no. It's not even really being biased. I mean, it's just look at the facts. Yeah, it's kind of being honest, like about it. And just, there's just no reason to get an Xbox One when you have something that's more powerful, cheaper, with better games. And the only doesn't will... have gay porn. Yeah, and no mandatory gay porn. Like that's that's a big seller. <laughs> that's a big selling point for me is no mandatory gay <laughs> no porn. No mandatory gay porn. Yeah, no mandatory gay porn. No one's watching me masturbate or sending my information off to Obama. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm good with with my freedom <laughs> and my no mandatory gay porn. Like, I'm, I'm fine with the two systems that I'll be playing this generation. So, I wish Xbox the best of luck. Like, may the odds ever be in your favor. <laughs> okay. I would much rather see them just stop doing consoles and try to stick to PC. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, they can always latch on the PC, I was thinking, but I was just like... They don't you... support PC now, so... Yeah, exactly. They don't it's gonna have to be their last resort. And so it's just like, what can you really do? Like, don't even bring anything into the handheld market. Like, Nintendo's waiting there with a golden rod, like, <laughs> you shall not pass. 
I mean, even the P <laughs> the PSP was barely successful, and the the Vita is struggling right now. Well, the PSP was extremely successful in Japan. Here, not as much, but the PSP sold like is still selling in Japan. Um, PSP games are still as selling. much as the 3DS. Oh no, 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 no not the as much as the DS. No. No, 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 no. But I'm saying the PSP is very successful. I was surprised when they made the Vita. I figured Sony would try to. I mean, they they tried in the handheld market. But they and did. They, they, the did they did. They did. They didn't put a. I mean, I guess they did. They did. They just didn't do as well as Nintendo. They didn't. They didn't put. No, they didn't. They didn't put it. They didn't put a dent in Nintendo. Yeah, because Nintendo has that on. Just you would. You'd expect them to create some competition in the handheld market. We put a dent on Nintendo's half, and then they. You know, the DS was the second highest selling console of all time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <It's> just... <laughs> they didn't. They didn't do it dent to the ds it's like you know me Moto just has that thunder grip on the <laughs> handheld market it's like we've been here since game boy since before this game boy our house they have the <laughs> game they have the game and watches before that yeah exactly you know they, 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 we've been here forever this is our house you can't come in like <laughs> so there's no point in microsoft trying to get into that market sony you know? knocks on the door please let me in no <laughs> So I mean, like they got in. Sony like let them have the couch. If, if the Microsoft, you know I mean? if, if Microsoft tries to get in, they're just—it's gonna be like in the medieval days. They're gonna have that boiling pot of oil above the door, and they're just gonna set it down on top of them. No, it's gonna be worse than like Texas. Like you're on my property, and it's gonna shoot you <laughs> from the top window. <laughs> like you're not even gonna know. It's gonna walk up, knock, 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 bang, <laughs> just straight through the head. It's gonna be over. There's, 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 it's gonna be dead on arrival if they even try. Like. <laughs> It's just not going to happen. I just don't see any in for Microsoft except for PC now because the, the you've lost the console war. Like, you've lost. Before yeah. it even started. Yeah, before it even started. And it's just like, I really want people to kind of stop poking and prodding Microsoft and let them just die with some peace and dignity. Yet we're poking and prodding them for, you know, two hours but straight. They may not hear <laughs> this, though, so it's okay. It's just that the reason I say that though is because I feel like they may do something drastic. You know what I mean? To They'd have to do something things. really drastic, though. Dude, are you kidding me? Like, I feel like Microsoft is like the equivalent right now to like I disrespect. I don't want to disrespect the Columbine kids, but like, just like a crazy psychopath who's like on the edge, <laughs> okay. ready to snap, and ready to snap, and you just you do too much to him, and he's killing everyone. But it's just like. If you let him go out on his own, we'll all be fine. And I feel like if you just keep poking and if we just keep poking and prodding Microsoft, they're not gonna care how much it's gonna cost them or how, how drastic it's gonna be or what's gonna do. Free forever. free Xbox Ones. <laughs> they really might just do something really drastic to get back some of those sales. You know what I mean? They might do a, a massive price. Cut. They'll do something drastic like free Xbox Ones, and they'll use the connect to steal your credit card numbers and just steal all your money. <laughs> Like something really crazy <laughs> like that. Oh, that would be, I would die laughing. I'm sorry if that happened. I <laughs> I couldn't contain myself. Microsoft steals everybody's money. <laughs> just like runs off to an island after, afterwards, and just <laughs> and just dips out. You never hear from him again. Like any of them. No one that works. Bill there. Gates on his private island with his Kinect sitting next to him in a chair. I'm sure about my system issues. <laughs> I'm just so angry and bitter. I feel bad for Bill Gates too. <laughs> like, I feel bad for everyone involved in Microsoft. <laughs> like, just the fact that Sony just came up and just squashed you like that. Everyone involved from my in Microsoft, I feel bad for because like, no one should have to endure a beating that bad. No one should just get stomped that hard into the ground, and Sony just slowly crushed them under the heel and just <laughs> just just kept going until there's just nothing there. Like that's just how I envision E3 going. Because they blew them out of the water on every possible level they could. Every 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 possible level. I was trying to think of something different to say and I couldn't. My brain like <laughs> my brain like died for a second. I had something planning to say. It is 1.30 a.m., so I don't blame you. Yeah, it is 1.30 a.m. <sighs> All right, should we wrap this up? We can wrap this up. We. Uh, you, you complain about how I wrap it up, so you do it. No, you can wrap it. It's, a, it's your game bang is your thing. <laughs> 
Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for, you know, sticking with us with all these E3 discussions. And, uh, you know, make sure you like all of our videos. Subscribe. You tell know, your friends. yeah, tell your friends. Every little bit help, helps us. We're still a small, you know, channel. And, uh, you know, yeah, you know, thanks again. If you haven't seen our previous uh, Game Bang radios, then, you know, check those out. Definitely. Get all of your E3 news and discussions and laughs. Recaps, all that good stuff. All of our, you know, bashing Microsoft for <laughs> two, three hours straight. But it was informative bashing. <laughs> informative bashing, the best yes. type of bashing. <laughs> the best time. Well, yeah. Stay tuned for new Game Bang Radios coming up in the future and any Let's Plays we do. Yep, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>